that has got to be the longest intro that any episode that the XP Black Moon Charger would have. Also, I don't even know what one of these episodes in a while, and it's a good time narrating back in this series. Anyways, let's move on. In 1997, Microsoft and Disney joined forces to unveil a groundbreaking operating system named Windows Should Rush OS. It was marketed as a whimsical and enchanting platform. It promised the users an immersive experience unlike any other. <sighs> However, hidden within its vibrant interface lay a curse waiting to be unleashed. <sighs> Upon installation, users were greeted by a kaleidoscope of candy-colored icons and animated characters from Disney's popular franchise. That especially includes the Sugar Rush Racers themselves. Who has shown at the bottom uh, of the screenshot. And, it, and when you look at them from the left to right, they are Vanellope, Crumbelina, Nogetia, Citrusella, Jubilina, Swizzle, Rancis, Adora Beezle, Thorvald, Candlehead, Sticky, Snow Anna, Lloyd, Taffeta, and Minty. Yet beneath the cheerful facade, an eerie aura surrounded the system. I think it's something amiss within that system. I wonder what it is. As users delved into the OS, they discovered its addictive nature. The system lulled them in with captivating games, each level more inciting than the last. People found themselves spending hours lost in its sugary landscapes. Unable to tear themselves away. <clears throat> However, strange occurrences began to surface. Uh, began to surface as the glitches turned the cheerful animations into twisted, haunting images. <clears throat> Users reported feeling a strange craving for sweets that couldn't be satiated, as if the system itself hungered for their indulgence. Rumors circulated that a curse embedded within the OS whispering of a pact between Disney and a mysterious sorcerer sneaking to ensnare, ensnare the minds of unsuspecting users. As the months passed, the curse grew stronger and users became ensnared, their lives consumed by the irresistible allure of the Sugar Rush OS. Despite for a solution, I mean desperate for a solution, a group of tech-savvy individuals embarked on a quest to break the curse. They navigated through the system's hidden realms, encountering obstacles and puzzles designed to trap them within its sugary grasp. As they ventured deeper, they unearthed the dark secret behind the curse, an ancient spell woven into the code by an enigmatic sorcerer, seeking to feed off the user's obsession with the digital sweetness. With shared determination, a group devised a counterspell. The group devised a counterspell. A complex algorithm aimed at nullifying the codes. It required precise execution within the heart of the operating system. <laughs> Gathering their cords, they breached the core of the Sugar Bush OS, facing a final showdown with the malevolent sorcerer's digital avatar. <laughs> Through cunning strategy and unity, they initiated the counter spell, disrupting the curse's hold over the system. <laughs> As the code shattered, the vibrant world of the Sugar Rush OS dissolved, leaving behind a standard Microsoft Air screen. Users found themselves released, released from the grip of the cast operating system, free from its tantalizing but treacherous grasp. Though the memory of the enchanted operating system lingered, a lesson was learned. Not all that glitters in the digital realm is free from dangers. Hidden dangers, obviously. The tale of the Windows Sugar Rush OS became a cautionary legend, a reminder to tread carefully in the ever-evolving landscape of technology. <laughs>